When it comes to the holidays, there's a million different drinks to choose from that will get us into the spirit, but sometimes it can just be too overwhelming. Joining me now to give us the best tips on what cocktails to make for your holiday hosting experience is entertaining expert Paul Zahn. Paul, thanks so much for joining us again here on Live in the Bay. Thank you for having me. Tis the season, the season for spirits, right? The season right. for spirits, but before we get started, I just have to give our guy here a quick shout out because he was featured in the Delmonico Way, one of his cocktail recipes and we have him here with us today how cool is that congrats well, on that i'm more excited about being here with you to make some <laughs> cocktails for those december holidays so you ready to get started i'm ready to get started let's start over here first okay first up we have a delicious eggnog drink and what i've done I took some ornaments that I just ordered on Amazon, and you can fill these with a signature cocktail. Oh, wow. And when your guests come over, say you're doing a dinner party, you can put a place card on there with their name, and when they leave, they can go home with the signature cocktail you featured. That's that, so cute. Yeah, That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah, it's a fun little idea. So what we've done here is I took a shot of espresso, I took a two shots of eggnog, and then a shot of Legion bourbon. So Legion bourbon is east meets west. So it starts off in Kentucky as a bourbon, and then it is finished in Japan. So it's an exquisite bourbon that I I absolutely love it. It goes great with like eggnog and it goes great just on its own, everything like that. So it's absolutely delicious. So that is our first How spiked exciting. It eggnog looks so good cocktail. Too. Yeah. So love it. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so moving on to this one over here, I see that you bought uh, brought some tequila. I know you are a fan <laughs> of tequila. You are a tequila girl. So we are doing a delicious poinsettia smash with some uh, Patron tequila. I love Patron. It's 100% Blue Weber agave. It's got that roasted agave. It's got some citrus, a peppery finish. So we are going to mix up this wonderful cocktail. So I'm taking an ice mixing tin. Uh -huh. We are going to put in a half ounce of some sherry, like so. Then we're going to put in some cranberry jam. Again, we're working in some of the seasonal ingredients. Uh -huh. So we're just doing a, a dab of that cranberry jam. Okay, and so about a spoonful. A, a spoonful, yeah, you're getting it. You're a master mixologist. <laughs> <laughs> Only because of you. Exactly. And then we're doing an ounce and a half of the Patron Silver, like so. And then we are going to give this a, a good sh shake. And, and is then, silver compared to gold probably a better mix for this specific I recipe? I like the silver because it really picks up on the, like the cranberry is going to complement that. It's a little bit more of, a, of a, a slate that's blank to start with. It's just got that nice hint of roasted agave and mm. then the citrus. So it's going to turn out really great. Ooh, so you, you really got to shake this one because the cranberry is going to dissipate and everything like that. But you do see it start to add that little reddish Redness. color to it exactly. and it looks so good. I can't wait to try this one. Oops. We're going to have to pop this puppy off. And anyways, <laughs> yeah. this is tough. That's okay. This one's trying to be a little tough. Yes. We're, gonna, we're still going to do a little sip sipper it. of that. There's Just a little, a little sip, sip in there. right here. Perfect. So let's hopefully, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that you love our Patron Poinsettia Smash. Ooh, nice, I love right? that. I love that the cranberry doesn't drown out the Patron. Right. You can still taste it, but it kind of takes away that bitter, like, first shock yes, from it. Yes, yes. Delicious. It's balanced. Love that. It's balanced. Next up, we are doing a sidecar with some Covassier. So a sidecar is a classic cocktail. I love Covassier. It's a cognac from France. They use the best grapes in France. They age it in some wonderful French wood. So it's really going to get a wonderful flavor profile. Aged a minimum of... Um, four years. So we are doing an ounce and a half. A minimum of four years. A minimum. Wow. It can go okay. all the way up and that's when you go into the XOs. So this is a VSOP and all that. So we are doing that. We have an ounce of orange liqueur in there. Then we're doing a half ounce of lemon juice. Fresh squeezed lemon juice, by the way. Ooh, it's oh, getting it's juicy it's over getting here. Juicy. <laughs> we're giving this a good shake. Don't have to shake it as much as the poinsettia smash, but you it's know. not being quite as stubborn. No. Oh, I love the color. It comes yes. out as almost like a burnt orange. It has that nice toasted almond color and flavor yes. to it. And then we are putting a dehydrated garnish on here with some an Ooh, orange. And love that. And voila. And here's number two. Number Let's two. try this one, everybody. Cheers. And people a lot of times say, what do you do with cognac? What do you do with cavassia? You can also put this in like a warm apple cider or something like that. Ooh. What do you think? I love the lemon in there. The lemon really the lemon brightens it up. Brings it, yes, mm -hmm. it brings out the flavors. And again, it's not too overpowering. I like the taste of the lemon. The lemon is, that might be one of my favorites. Sit by the fireplace, sipping on that. Absolutely delicious, right? Yeah, and it has a nice like, almost citrusy aftertaste yes, too. Yes. Love that. Okay, we love it. Next up, we are moving over to Japan with a delicious 
pear, gin, and tonic. So Roku is a gin from Japan, and Roku actually means six in Japanese. And oh. why it's called Roku is because they use six different Japanese botanicals to create this delicious gin. Wow. Like um, cherry blossom, yuzu, and then eight different botanicals that are traditional gin botanicals. So that's how we get the name, and it's absolutely delicious. I love the history lesson, too. Yes. Paul Zahn's all about teaching us a little history, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is, again, we're using seasonal ingredients. So we are going to do I'm just going to free pour an ounce and a half of the delicious Roku gin. Then we're actually going to put in some fresh pears Ooh. because pears are perfect for winter. They're in season in winter. So we're going to put in two pears and then or two pear slices. Then we're doing a little fresh pear juice like so. I was going to say, you're going to add some mm -hmm, of that sweet pear mm -hmm. juice in there? Perfectly balanced, all these wonderful botanicals. Then we're topping it with some tonic water by Q Mixers. Again, elevated mixers. We always want to elevate our cocktails as much as possible. We're going to give this a nice stir. Super easy, super delicious. Now it just has to pass the Olivia taste test. Here we go. It's <laughs> got to pass my taste test. Let's see. Fingers crossed. This, is, this could be good with a charcuterie board, Ooh. pairing with something like that. Uh-oh. I lied. This one might be my new favorite. So many choices, so, <laughs> so many, many favorites, choices. so little time. It's so good because it does have a slight sweetness, but it's not too sweet. And I like, I like, and this right here, is this um, tonic water? Perfect. Uh, tonic. Mm -hmm. I love that it gets that, gives that extra bubbly. So good. <laughs> love it. Now, last but certainly not least, again, we're working in those seasonal ingredients. So I have some pomegranate and cranberry juice, some ginger beer to give it a little bit of that spice, and then we have some truly vodka so this is their wild berry distilled six times again the berries all come together in a wonderful drink that's super easy to make and this one's another, already prepared there's another one on the docket another one on the docket fingers crossed fingers mm. crossed what do you think oh my gosh i can't even really taste the alcohol in this one there's it's alcohol so sweet it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like trust me honey there's well, definitely alcohol yeah maybe you should give it a whirl that tastes so good right yeah, it's basically the holiday season, people. Come on. <laughs> Cheers to the holidays. And thank you so much, as usual, Paul, for coming o coming over here at Live in the Bay again. And actually, you're going to be joining us in just a bit as well. Yeah, not as, done. as long as security doesn't remove me from the building, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure they're not going to do that. But for more great cocktail recipes, we'll have a link on our website to follow Paul at liveinthebay.tv.